Hello everyone and welcome to NASCAR's Studio 3. I'm Jonathan Mamron, joined by Steve O'Donnell. Steve, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on. All right, let's jump right in here. 2019 Aero Package, we've had a, a pretty good sample size so far. What are you guys impressed with? With What do you guys like that you're seeing out of this, uh, this race package? Yeah, I think all in all, you know, you look at something uh, from an eye test standpoint and then you say, you know, directionally that looked really good. And then you look at the facts and, and you hope those match up. And, what we've seen really for each one of our races is a, a much better product on the track. When you look at kind of green flag lead changes, I think we've seen somewhere in the neighborhood of a 44%, 45% increase uh, year over year, which is tremendous. So directionally really like what we're seeing and, and really like the competition on the track. Let's talk about some of those moments. I mean, Texas was a super competitive race. My mind immediately jumps to, to Bristol in that stage one end. How has this package kind of aided, you know, moments like that? Yeah, you look at, I think, two things first, like Bristol and, and a particularly, you know, unbelievable race on the short track. And candidly, that was going to be a little bit of a concern for us. We, we put this together for the intermediates hoped it would, would uh, deliver on the short tracks, and, and Bristol certainly checked that box. And then Las Vegas, one of our first uh, kind of two true tests on the intermediate track was great. And then as you kind of went to Texas from there, teams had a little bit of a chance to, to catch up after the West Coast swing, like we'll see after the break here to, to make some adjustments. And I think you'll see some, some more competitive teams also. As we look ahead to, to Kansas and then pass that to the 600, these guys have been home for quite a while and been mm -hmm. able to work on this stuff. So what can we see or expect to see on track uh, with those two races? Yeah, I think from our perspective, uh, we hope to see a lot more of that. When you see any new rules package, uh, historically, you always see one or two teams really hit on it. Uh, out of the gate, which we've seen certainly with Penske and Joe Gibbs Racing, but you know you started to see some other teams knocking on the door in Texas. Now with even some more downtime, you know Hendrick needs a win, Stuart Haas needs a win, Roush is up there as well, RCR. So I think all those teams have gone to work, are going to learn a bit, a little bit more. Even JTG, you know, you're seeing them run really well, especially at Richmond. So uh, those teams are going to get up there, and we expect them to win some races as well. Let's switch gears, talk about eNASCAR. That's really grown a lot this year, especially with uh, the Heat Pro League and then yep. you have the Peak Series as well. What do you guys look for in that? And, and, and do you watch it and do you find it exciting? I do watch it and I think, uh, you know, it's been something we've been behind really the last 10 years. Um, but just recently with the Pro League now, you saw a lot of our teams get involved. We had the draft in, in Phoenix. And so you're starting to see some drivers really get a name for themselves. We've had them introduced at the driver's meeting, which is cool. Um, and for us, it's a way, um, you know, certainly a much more economical way for someone to get involved with NASCAR, see what actually goes on, um, and then hopefully grow uh, not only maybe from racing skills, but to be a bigger fan. And so we look at that and, and see how we can grow the sport, not only from going to a race, watching on TV, but certainly if you can participate in iRacing, uh, we feel like you're gonna be a fan for life. And lastly, Kyle Busch, the run he's been on over the past couple of years and really this year, is have we seen anything like it? What, you know, you've been around for a while. Yeah. Can you compare it to anything? A lot of people say when Jimmy went on that run of five yeah. straight championships, I mean, what are we watching? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of NASCAR first, right? So you sit back and you, you watch and you kind of take it for granted. And I've heard this over my career at NASCAR that someone who had a phenomenal record maybe wasn't appreciated as much during their career. And, you know, as time goes by, people look back and say, holy cow, I can't believe, you know, that was accomplished. I certainly say that with Jimmy now, and, and he's still going after an eighth championship. And I think we're lucky as fans to be able to see not only Jimmy's still racing, but what Kyle's doing is unprecedented. I mean, every time we go up to race control, you know he's going to be a factor in the race. And I think all the other competitors know that as well. You know, he can be alienating to some, but if you look down in the stands, especially the last year and a half, a lot more M&M's colors reaching every race, a lot more younger fans engaging. So, you know, fans want to be part of a, a winner, and he's certainly doing that. He just tied Lee Petty's record for, you know, cup wins. He also has 200 National Series wins. You know, we are a sport of numbers. Every car has a yep. number on it. We always talk about laps led, how many races you've won. 200, put that in perspective for... You know, I, I think that's for a lot of folks to, to debate. You know, you hear about what Richard Petty did in his day, but the fact that it's even being talked about, you know, with Kyle and what Richard did tells you how big of a talent he is. And he's still a fairly young guy. So you look at the potential over the next few years as well for Kyle. And I, I'd certainly say he wants more championships. I think he would tell you that he should have had some uh, additional championships already. So watching him this year and the years beyond is going to be a lot of fun. 
All right, Steve O'Donnell, we appreciate your time. Absolutely. We appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you here next time.